Welcome back friends. In this video, let's go to look about identification of biochemical or identification of food substances. And this is normally called as food test. Kwa video yu pita tukona angalia kusu function of water kwenye different parts of the body. Kwa hiyo, don't forget to subscribe and to share the video to your fellows. Kwa hiyo, here we shall deal with the identification of the following food substance. First is reducing sugar, then non-reducing starch, lipids, then the last food is protein. Starting with reducing sugar, the reducing sugars include all monosaccharides such as glucose and fructose and some disaccharides such as maltose. The only common non-reducing sugar is sucrose. So we are using 0.1 to 1% solution of sugar to test the reducing sugars. Our reagent used, we use Benedict solution. Benedict solution is the first reagent used in testing. And as we discussed the area that we have the Fainings, Fainings test which also uses the Benedict solution. So Remember one thing that Benedict solution is the solution of dilute copper 2 sulfate which appear as blue. So procedure to a small amount of reducing sugar solution in a test tube add eco volume of Benedict solution. The mixture was shaken and boiled. Now to boil yapa so combo na heat the test tube nye unaeka maji kwenye bika ukiweka maji kwenye bika Unachemsha le maji ya fundo naeka ile test tube. Kwa siyo una heat, bali una boil. Now, kama kuna reducing sugar, observation natakiwi waji, a series of color changes from blue, green, yellow, orange, and finally black red. Precipitate, we observed. Kwa kwenye mazingila kama ayo, tasema kwa mba reducing sugar is pleasant. Kwa hiyo kwenye basis of the test, kwa nini hizo changes the colors are not okay? Because... Reduced solution may contain copper to sulfate solution. Reducing sugars, they reduce soluble blue copper to sulfate or soluble blue copper sulfate containing copper to ions into insoluble. They reduce it into insoluble. They contain copper to They reduce to insoluble red brown copper oxide. Copper 1 oxide containing copper 1. The letter is seen as precipitate. This one which is copper 1. So the aldehyde group of reducing sugar donates electrons that reduce copper 2 of, of blue copper 2 into copper 1 oxide which appear as a brick red precipitate. Now we have additional information here that the final precipitate will appear green to yellow, to orange, to lead brown or brick lead, which increasing amount of reducing sugar. So the initial yellow color blades with the blue of the copper sulfate solution to give the green color. Kwa hiyo kwanza, inayokuwa inatengenezo na kwa ni yellow. Ile yellow inachanganyika na blue, inatengeneza green. Kwa jinsi, jinsi, Zile kopa wani zinafu zidi kuongezeka. Kopa wani okuzadi zinafu zidi kuongezeka. Ile langi na badika. Until finally we get black lady color. Now any heating that has to be done in any food test should be carried out in a water bath at the boiling point of water. Direct heating of the test tube should not take place. So we do not heat, we boil. Now, let's see the test of non-reducing sugar. The most common non-reducing sugar is sucrose, a disaccharide. And if reducing sugar have been shown to be absent, if reducing sugar have been shown to be absent, no series of color changes. Kwa hiyo, kwenye test ya juwa hapa manake, kama kuna reducing sugar, series ya color changes isingetokea. Now why? Kwa nini? 
because sucrose is a non-reducing sugar among all disaccharide. Reason why does it eat the reducing sugar? Sucrose lack any active or free reducing group since both aldehyde from alpha glucose and keto group from fructose are used to form 1,2 glycosidic bond as we explained earlier. Now here in non-reducing sugar we have many reagents. First we have sodium hydroxide solution, then you have dilute HCl, then you have benzene solution. Now why do we have all of these reagents? It is because in the non-reducing sugar we need first to break bond. After breaking the bond then we are going to, to start doing things about it. Uh, to start doing things about about uh, testing for a reducing sugar. Kwa tukisha vunja bondi, ili sugar yetu inakuwa nini? Inakuwa ni reducing kama zilivo sugar nyingine reducing. So, how do we break the bond now? First, we add a to a small portion of a non-reducing sugar. We add dilute HCl. Then the mixture was boiled and then cooled in a cool water bath. So we, we add dilute HCl, then we boil. Dilute HCl has the ability to break the glycosidic bond. Dilute HCl and boiling, they break the glycosidic bond. So you cool, then you neutralize with sodium hydroxide or sodium hydrogen carbonate solution. Sodium bicarbonate, but normally we are using sodium hydroxide solution. So we add equal amount of sodium hydroxide to neutralize the acid. Then a small amount of benzoic solution were added and then the mixture was boiled again. So you boil, you add HCl, you boil, then you cool, you add sodium hydroxide to neutralize the HCl, then you add benzoic solution. Observation is the same as for non-reducing sugar. As for reducing sugar, a series of color changes were observed as in reducing sugar. And on the basis of the test, a disaccharide can be hydrolyzed to its constituent monosaccharide by boiling with dilute hydrochloric acid. So what happens here, sucrose is hydrolyzed to glucose and fructose, both of which are reducing sugars and give the reducing sugar test with Benedict's solution. Now note that, first, a forgiven solution, let's say solution X, have various food substances. It is a device to start with testing for reducing sugar and not non-reducing sugar. Otherwise, the results obtained may be invalid. Kwa untakio wanza kutesti, reducing. Reducing usipoyona. Usipoyona, reducing. Ukaenda kuyona, non-reducing. Manake non-reducing diyo, ipo. Lakini solution yoyote, utaka utesti, reducing ukayona. Lazima na non-reducing utayona. Solution yote utakao testi reducing ukayona. Lazima na non-reducing utayona. Kwa sabu gani? HCL na sodium hydroxide ya stabadi chochote. Kwa lazima color changes tatoke vivi. Ila kuna comment yuko mbira ambazo tuenda kuzereze. For a practical, the solution may contain both reducing and non-reducing sugar. Kwa utajua jesu. These will be identified by com compa comparing the magnitude of precipitation in the two different test tubes. Confirm. Each holds its own test tube, one for reducing and the other for non-reducing sugar. If reducing sugars have been shown to, to be present, a heavier precipitate will be observed in the rest above. In the rest above than in the reducing test. If non-reducing sugar is present. Kwa hiyo, kinachukua popo ni kwamba, non-reducing sugar ataungeza precipitation. Kwa utenda kuna precipitate kwenye test tubia, non-reducing sugar itakuwa ni kubo kuliko precipitate liyo kukwenye test tubia reducing sugar. And from there, let's go to look about the test for starch. Test for starch. Now, reagents used for starch not to mean iodine solution. Iodine solution. Mm, or sometimes it is called as iodine 
dissolved in the potassium iodide. So most of the time it is potassium iodide solution and it's brown in color. Now procedure to two cm cube of starch solution. Few drops of iodine solution are added. Now observation ni blue black color. Blue black coloration forms. Basis of the test, the blue black color is the result of the formation of a polyiodide starch complex. So iodine they complex with the starch. So that's all about starch, blue black coloration. And now let's go to lipids. Lipids they include oil such as corn oil and olive oil, fats and waxes. When you lipids to na test it out, Sudan 3 test, emulsion test, pomoja na glass house pot test, how sometimes it's called translucent mark test. Uh, Kwanza Sudan 3 test, reagent ni Sudan 3 solution, it is laid in color. Sudan 3 is the lead dye. When you procedure to a small amount of a fat or oil solution in the test tube, few drops of Sudan 3 solution, which is lead dye, are added and the mixture is shaken. When you add these two drops of Sudan 3 to shake vigorously the mixture, to shake vigorously, kitaka chotokea. Ready, but I to yacha for five minutes is left for for uh, it's not five, I think it's one minute. Is left for one minute. A lead strained oil layer separates on the surface of water, which remain colorless. While your lead strained oil layer it has separated on the surface of water, my tabakia. Colorless. Lakini, kwenye basis of the testing, the fats or oils, globules, are strained laid by Sudan 3. Mamba floats on water because they are less denser than water. Cause the fat droplets ambazo mekwa strained laid is in a float on water. Kusabiza nyewe ni less denser than water. Pia, kuna Emulsion test, emulsion test, reagent in alcohol or ethanol. When you procedure to 2 cm cube of fat or oil in the test tube, add 2 or 3 cm cube of absolute ethanol or alcohol. Dissolve the lipid by shaking vigorously. Add an equal volume of cold water. Observation, cloudy white suspension forms. Kwanina tengenezo hiyo? Treating fat with alcohol or strong base sodium hydroxide, the bond between the fat acids and the glycol are broken. The hydroxyl groups of the alcohol or sodium hydroxide restore the glycol molecule, and the hydrogen and sodium ions is attached to the carboxyl group of the fatty acid. So one end of the molecule, that is fatty acid, is hydrocarbon which means it is hydrophobic and able to mix easily with other hydro, hydrophobic like oils. The other end is charged and thus polar. It is hydrophilic, thus interacting with the water molecule. The result is amphi, amphilic molecule, amphotelic molecule. Is a photelic molecule mixed with water. It cannot form a true solution but instead form droplets with the hydrophilic heads exposed to water and hydrophobic tails in the interior mixed with the other mixed with the other hydrophobic materials. Kwayo onaona kwamba basis ya test yapo ni kitu fana mbocho ni complex sana ukelezea lakini anyway walimu wanezo wa kuuliza kwa yo you need to know sometimes questions of these parties zinakuja tu kwamba how do we test protein in the laboratory how do we test lipids in the laboratory uh, from there tunayo glass or glass mark or translucent mark test 
Na hapa tunakuwa tunachukua tukitu kitu kitu na kirabu kwenye pepa. Then tuna allow time for any water to evaporate. Tunaweka a piece of paper on the top of the flame. Observation a permanent transparent spot on the paper. Uh, from there and there was a need of discussing about the test for protein the test for protein and the protein we are testing by using the the copper two, copper two sulfate solution and sodium hydroxide and our final result is the purple correlation purple correlation so for this video here my notes have been ended here so we shall discuss this in the practical session. Also, you may go yourself in the biological science book and you may follow this part of our chemistry. Thank you everybody. Subscribe the channel and share the video. In the next video, we shall be discussing about e. we shall be discussing about e. ATP at the part of biochemistry. Thank you. Wish you nice studies.